We've heard a lot about Pfizer and Moderna's COVID-19 vaccine trials, but who are the people taking part in these tests? Why do they do it? And what does the process look like? I spoke with a fire chief in Arizona about her experience with the Moderna trials. We need to come to an end with this thing. I mean, I think it's been pretty obvious uh, since uh, the beginning of the year, frankly, that COVID's gotten a grip on our, uh, on our country. It's going to be a problem. Um, my community is a high-risk demographic, uh, particularly in terms of age group. And, uh, you know, obviously working in emergency services and being around our firefighter paramedics and, and that type of thing, um, you know, the sooner we can... Uh, protect ourselves, the sooner, uh, more importantly, we can protect our families, um, you know, the better. So, um, honestly, I, I didn't hesitate. It was more like, how do I sign up for this thing? Wow, that's a great way to see it. And it's not just you as part of the crew. You've got a number of your team members that are taking part as well. Yeah, there's about five or six firefighters. I don't know the exact numbers. Obviously, that's a HIPAA issue, but I've had quite a few of them walk up to me and say they're doing it. And whether they've been symptomatic or not, you know, uh, you know, we, we talk about those types of things. But uh, I'm really, really proud of our folks. I think they see the, the reason why the vaccine is so important. Let's talk about the steps. So what did it entail and what will it continue to entail? The orientation appointment uh, turned out to be my first shot because... Uh, you know, they do a they do a, a a medical screening. They do blood work. You get a COVID test, and if everything looks good, they give you the, your first booster. So I had mm -hmm. I had that appointment. Thirty days later, I had a second booster. Um, in in between, after you get the booster for about seven days, there's an app that we log into on our phones, and we have to answer questions every night about how we feel, whether we have a fever or not. And uh, my fire district's been doing pre-work screenings since the March, uh, excuse me, since March. Mm -hmm. So I know whether I have a temperature every day and how my vitals are. And so uh, honestly, pretty seamless process. You know, going into this, signing up for a trial, obviously there could be some dangers. Were you nervous at all with it? No, because once I read the information about how they actually made the vaccine, um, I have a good friend of mine that's in a biotech industry, and so a little bit familiar with the technology. I'm not a scientist by any means, but I think the important thing was that I, I wasn't going to get a strain of the actual uh, virus. This is a, a genetic, um, um, a genetic, genetically made product, if you will, uh, similar to what we're seeing with Alzheimer's uh, uh, drug therapies and cancer drug therapies. So, so for me, I saw it as honestly probably one of the safer things to do. And a reminder, the Canadian government has contracts for millions of doses with both Moderna and Pfizer, along with other vaccine candidates. For City News, I'm Melanie Ng.